Live, live, live. Yardy Bailey is live. Live in the kitchen. We're live with the cooking. Live, live, live. Yardy Bailey is live. Yardy Bailey TV. We're live. Oh, yeah, Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yardy Bailey is cooking. We're cooking in the morning, we're cooking in the evening. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Yeah, man. Yeah, the belly is cooking. Yeah, the belly TV. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Hey. Anything else? More and more singing. Singing, singing, singing. Hey. Yeah, the belly is singing. Singing in the morning, we're singing in the evening. Singing, singing. Yadi Belly is singing. Yadi Belly TV is singing, singing, singing. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Did you must put this? Pam it, it, pam it. Ay, it lit me at the way I'm going on. Good morning, official Jamie, and good morning to you. Happy Thursday to you and your family. How are you doing? Good morning, one and all. Let's go back to our check-in. Where are you checking in from? Because we need to big up on a city and another town and another country that one is logging in from. So once you hop on, let us know where you are checking in from. Yes. Official Jamia is up the road from us. Palm she's in, City? She's in Palm City. Um, city in the year under the weather. Hope you feel better. Official so Jamia. Get a pineapple, cut off the, the something, boil the skin with some ginger and some um garlic. Some you know garlic. <laughs> no, yeah. And boil this, boil it, you know, put it in the pot and steep it and then drink it. You can drink it hot, you can drink it cold, put a lot of ginger in it. Mm. You know, and then maybe you need some rest as well. You know, hopefully you're not diagnosed with anything other than just under the weather. Because the rain has been falling a little bit down here. Just those couple of days that of rain that we've been have um, um, official Jamia, you saw the rain yesterday, the day before. And today, if you, because Palm City is right there, you know, see. Mm -hmm. So today, you see overcast right now. I know you're seeing it that it's overcast right now. Mm -hmm. You know, Diva Forever, good morning, good, good morning, morning, good I'm morning. So yes, Diva, you've been out. Let me see what she said. She said, I'm able to watch you guys today. It's been a while. Keep missing you. Yeah, it's been a long while, girl. Hope everything is okay with you. Happy pre independence to all my Jamaicans. Yes. Tomorrow is our Independence Day and it sucks to say that it won't be a typical Independence Day because of all of the restrictions and the protocols and the um, curfews and the lockdowns. So, yeah, that sucks. But now we're in independent shirt. Yeah. <laughs> See that? See that? Jamaica. My independent Jamaica. shirt, my Yada Deli shirt. That's been designed by Moa. Mm. <laughs> yeah so we were gonna go with like last year we did a crazy spread you remember yeah last year we did a crazy breakfast spread with aki and selfish and this and that and that was but, oh in miami yeah when we were in miami can you imagine wow it was just a year ago that we were in miami for independence and the lord had seen it fit to move us to a different locale and we thank God for that. So, what's your favorite independent song? Jamaican independent song. If you're watching us right now and you are a lover of the independence you movement. You mean like a festival song? Yeah, a festival song. An independent song, Not myself? a tap dance tonight until it's all man pack up and gone. You know the cops are laughing, everybody gonna be one left in the dance. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that song? <laughs> oh, chiquitito. Hey, chiquitito. I love me, chiquitito. Love me, chiquitito. You realize I'm like the full song, right? You realize? Yes. 
Yes. Moon Alliance. I used to love that. I remember I was a kid when those songs were on. I used to love them. Diva says, Macri Rundown. I have not eaten that in a long time, over 40 years. Yes, I'm doing fine. Just think that this COVID has kept us on our tiptoes. It's true. And today's mackerel rundown is also um, one that is somewhat semi, semi unusual because we're using tin mackerel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're using tin mackerel. We're not using fresh um, pickled mackerel, and we don't use fresh mackerel. We're using tin mackerel. And um, the, the 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 food that we're eating it with is also something that needs to be talked about. Yes. So on this plate, you know you can't see it. We have some sweet potato. And the sweet potato, we just basically peel it. How you keep these sweet potato from oxidizing, baby? Because they're fake. Eh? Yeah. We're not stop that foolish thing. <laughs> but we just peel the sweet potato and we're going to add it to the pot right now. Because this morning, we just like eat dumpling and sweet potato. All right? That's what we're having for our breakfast. Dumpling and sweet potato. All right, so let us talk a little bit about our dumplings. All right, so in the pot, can I get a spoon? In no, the pot, I sell we, a spoon. Uh, did I sell it? Yeah. In the pot, we have our dumplings, but this dumpling is not just your typical flour dumpling, even though it looks like such. But look, look at my dumpling, guys. Nobody can guess what's in the dumpling. I don't know my life, but can I guess? <laughs> Look at the dumpling and tell me if you can guess what ingredients. This dumpling has four ingredients, not including salt. Anybody guess all four ingredients? Get three dumplings. <laughs> I'm serious. I yeah, but I soon tell you what's in the dumpling. You have to stay tuned. What's in the dumpling? Four ingredient dumpling. Four ingredient dumpling. Yeah. Talk about my mackerel menus. Oh, here you go. All right, guys. So the mackerel that we're using is the one that we have on hand. Yeah, we would have preferred if it was um, representing our um, country since tomorrow is our independence. But this we have, this we use. It's Amen. jack mackerel. And this is mackerel that is not in sauce, not in a tomato-based sauce. It's in water and brine. with brine. Yeah, salt added. All right, so... This is going to be perfect for a rundown type dish. Yeah. Yeah, because you don't have all that sauce. Yeah. And then we have our coconut cream, coconut milk powder from um, this brand, yes. That, that brand that we all have grown to love. <laughs> I like that you gave him a prank. He's so gullible, he almost believe you. <laughs> What's she talking about? I don't know. Said a potato face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm wondering why it didn't oxidize though. I, I mean, these, these lab made. Vegetables. It's not lab made, man. I, I mean. Lab made, man. But do do. And I see how real, look how real um, fruit look. You see how small and tiny and organic this look? It's because it was homegrown. I would keep it from next door. The typical ones that you would buy in the store is like three times this size. But remember me telling you guys, this sweet, yeah? Mm. It's sweet, yeah? Mm-hmm. Sweet bar. All right, so let me show you what I'm going to do now. You put planting in there? Yeah. Let us clean up my vegetables. I have some scallion. The quintessential... Jamaican um, starter kit for vegetables that we use to um, prepare our, our, our dish. Jamaicans basically use three major um, ingredients in them food, which is onion, scallion, garlic, and thyme. Right, babes? Mm -hmm. So almost every Jamaican dish has to have them three something. Onion, 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 garlic, and thyme. Them, them couple something. Here. Time in almost everything. You understand? Jamaicans, if they not eat with if time they're not a food, it's not really good. I'm asking you guys to try pumpkin dumpling. My husband made it and it was delicious. Oh, oh um um beef. You know, so we think about it this morning, but fried dumpling though, not you mean fried dumpling? I think you dumpling. No man, I must fry dumpling. Diva, um, Diva Forever, is it boiled dumpling? Vera McIntosh, good morning. 
where are you logging on from please let us know happy independence if you're jamaican um pre-independence rather if you're jamaican i'm on born here hey. i'm on born here so no, we can't sing that car far in there. We can't sing that. Stop, stop, quick. Stop, no sing it, Miss No sing it. Nutmeg, salt, cornmeal, cinnamon, and the pumpkin. Me that try it. Can me that try anything? This morning we make some. Is it boiled? Beetroot fritters. Is it boiled? Um, so, you may put regular flour too? So? Yeah, you have to add little flour so you can bind it. You have to add little flour. Nobody gets what's in my dumpling. Nobody gets what's in my dumpling. Not even one ingredient and they don't get what's in my dumpling. I am irked. You feel that way about it? Yes. I am irked. You have to cry? Yes. Don't cry, baby. With your mystery dumpling. Don't cry with your mystery dumpling. <laughs> the dumpling is mystery. Time for your mystery dumpling. Oh, open up for you. Yes, please. Bam! You got one right, Lady Benjamin. Flax is one of the ingredients. Oh, Lady Benjamin just catch the flax up. Flax? Through the dot that them. So yeah. it couldn't be some big black pepper. <laughs> That's one of the four ingredients. Anything else? Anyone else? Flour. Say flour. Somebody say flour. Make sure it's a flour and I. Good morning, Lady Benjamin. Good morning. Oh, coconut milk. We Sit have here. to reconstitute. No, I want to have the water. Oh. Flax seed in the dumpling. Little Benjamin hit the hit it right on the mark. I'm scared to guess. Why are you scared to guess? <laughs> guess man. We still have three ingredients today. You want me to give you a clue? One of the one of the ingredients can be used to make breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> boiled dumpling. Diva says it's a boiled dumpling. Okay. May I try it? And the next thing we may go try is the cassava. So he cooks the pumpkin or just grate it? You cook it, man. You cook the pumpkin and then crush it out and knead it and then boil it. It has to be. Yes, John Doe. You've got the second ingredient. Good morning, oh, Jando. This is the second ingredient in my four ingredient dumpling. No, the people that might guess up the thing this morning, man. Oh, now, guess up the thing, then. See, hey, let me ask a question, guys. We just moved to America, like, 15 years. Less. Less than 15 years. How how long have some of you guys been in America? Eh? Because I know there are some folks here who are who are from Jamaica but not but been living in America since Wapikil full up. How long have you guys been in America and have you um gone back? Has anybody is anybody listening to me right now who has never gone back to Jamaica? Is anybody listening who plans to go back to live in Jamaica? Retire and live in Jamaica? Good morning. Flaxseed make the dumpling very healthy. You can eat several and not feel guilty about eating. And the oats too. The oats too. The oats make the dumpling healthy too. Oats, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I like the dumpling. It means a dumpling can of swear. You understand? And if she ever make the dumpling healthy, that means more dumpling for me. <laughs> so guys, this is what we do with our coconut milk. You just put it in some um, boiling water. Yeah. And that's how you make your coconut milk. Mm-hmm. Cheat the senior, the senior. And now me just cut up my, my onion. I'm using one small onion.
go. Yeah, man, so the COVID thing just basically kill all of the vibes, you know? We can't understand how, how, how most of the events have been curtailed, but the big main mm. events them are allowed to keep, you know? Huge events, unrestricted. Yeah, I mean, unprotected. But guys, we just have to just keep on holding on, keep on doing the best we can. You know, in due season, in due season. Those four ingredients. What's the ingredient that I guess you had in your dumpling? The flax. The flax is what you get that was in my dumpling. All right. Oh, I never she said that. It was Lady um Lady Benjamin. Benjamin said flax. All right, so me using, as I said, we're not using, we, the, you can use the, the mackerel and tomato sauce for this recipe. However, you know you're going to have to discard all the sauce and maybe wash the mackerel off. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's no problem if you have this one to use it, you can use it. However, um, we found the mackerel that is in, in brine, you know, and so we decided to use that one. Um, and so you just basically pop this mackerel open. And you are gonna discard the the, the brine. Um, Why? Because it's not salt already. I want an extra salt. And then you just take it and do so. <laughs> I mean, I like when the mackerel. You know, my temper can hear a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's well packed, man. Well packed. May I try to get out the something, guys? And it's it not come out. No? Yeah, but I like when it come out, you know, whole. I mean, I like when it what? break up. May I try my best? I am from St. Anne's. Your favorite Macintosh, good morning. Okay. You are from St. Anne's? Living there now? Or you're migrated. Joni's Hughes, good morning, Yardy family. If anybody can hook up some canned mackerel, I know you guys can. <laughs> Girl, we are going to hook this up. You will not miss your typical traditional mackerel rundown when we're done with this. Trust me. This still okay, so I try to get out the mackerel out there, can, so I try to get it out without breaking it up. So. And how is that going? It, nah, go out there. <laughs> if it does use that, if it uses a you that sells to, to train it out of the can. Yeah, I mean, no. Ah. Donna Lee Duncan, good morning to you, girl. No, how man, them go, them go hard with that can. I'm a man. Them four city, look how much. Mm. Them go real hard. All right, let me clean it up a little bit because you know me like. So, nice coconut milk there, you guys. <laughs> The coconut milk for the you know your coconut milk is necessary for the rundown prayer kid big up yourself good morning to you sir all right for those joining late let me show you my dumplings being boiled over here yes we have our let me tell them the all ingredients since you all got the the unusual ingredients the flax the oats and there's cornmeal and flour in this dumpling and then we have a little bit of sweet potato and we have thing there planting the only thing missing from this pot that would make my absolute day is some soft green banana i want to say soft green banana crush in the, the rundown everything 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 all right, so so we're mackerel there, guys, and um, pretty much we just clean it up. Um, for some folks, them open it and them take out whatever they need to take out, and nothing is wrong with that. Uh, some folks don't use the 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 um, what do you call it, the bones, 
but the bones have a lot of calcium guys so we, do, we normally don't discard it it's good for women especially the mackerel bones so you want to just open him up you want to save back your bones and if there's any little guts or any little thing that is up here so you want to discard those all right because remember this mackerel was was like a little them look undesirable looking part, part there you just want to clean those up all right and then because of the fact that it was done in a this is a canned mackerel you don't want to to rough it up because you will you will basically break it up unnecessarily and you want it to retain at least some semblance of itself you know see that little mickle part there take out that because we don't want them little part there now show off my girl me just take out them little part the women are like her it's good for women i know the, i know the bone me i talk about you uh, and some little belly part sure so this is the mackerel guys all right i'm cleaning up as we go so that's why <laughs> I'm going to start the war as him come on. Good Ooh. morning, get fit and done. <laughs> Take away yourself to pray at you. <laughs> uh -oh. That's better. Tell them what you did just did a while ago. Um, okay, guys. I don't know if you guys are having the same issue, but what we have noticed is that the this the quality of the 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 what do you call it the, the quality of the video sometimes is not as crisp as it should be. So what we do is you see those buttons, those dots on the right hand corner. You hit on it like such, and then once you do that, you will see down here some options and you click on quality and then you click advanced and then you can select the resolution that that works best usually 720 is what will improve improve the quality so you can check and see if your thing is showing optimal quality crispness optimal yeah now let me ask you a question babe you want to put some cucumber in it or you want some butter bean in it or what what would you want in it so guys i have some coconut oil here on my stove it's just it's an option you know say so you can say you don't want nothing i have some coconut oil on my stove there and let me just uh, warm that through can i get a spatula please thank you so much appreciate you I'll do 750. <laughs> <laughs> she always <laughs> tell myself to wait on the aisle for at you know. Don't babes. And me don't listen, right? Me is not a listening person. I'm done. You're done? You're next? You can take out the, the, the um the um the um ingredients the motor there. There's garlic powder. I can't find that for me. So I have um, one pepper. Mm -hmm. The wife don't like a lot of pepper, so I'm not put enough. But I keep my scotch bonnet in the refrigerator, guys, in the freezer. And that way it lasts longer so that I can, you know, because when you leave it for it, you know, I've readily access the scotch bonnet pepper like that. So when you get a pack, you put it in the freezer. And what it also do is minimize the amount of heat reduce the heat a little bit what you got turn it down turn on that stove so that boil over turn up the irons so we are about watch it pot a while ago where you try to say too much pepper nothing is going on she's saying something about the pepper guys no. that guys tell me if this is too no, much I'm pepper saying the pot is not frying it's soon fry I'm on bondage. I'm on bondage. I'm on bondage. 
Wow, that smell good already. As soon as it start up, I add in my garlic. <laughs> Enram said, Aki, you know, good to see you now. You can get out of here. Enram said, I'm fine. Enram, yeah, man, Enram said, I'm Aki, you know, too. If that's a bill, enemies. No, sir. And Enram, Enram is up the road from us as well. Mm. In the northern section of Florida. Big up yourself, Enram. Mm -hmm. And guys, we, we have a plan. We need to tell me if we, we need to do a, a yard belly after dark. Sure, Donnelly, you can get a few. If you're in there, we don't give you one because we get them regular. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll she get, get them regular. We, we take them regular. After she goes by, they go rub the people with something. <laughs> Wait on the line. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that you see what you see here, this foaming action, guys. It's because of the the coconut oil this is what happens to the extra virgin coconut oil when you when you are frying with it all right so nothing wrong with the pot it's just the oil coconut oil foaming all right now i'm gonna add my pieces of mackerel and as i as you see i'm adding them as whole as i can because eventually they will break up and make the pot oil for, oil for this yes donna they're from next door girl they're from our neighbor house but we don't have a neighbor. <laughs> the people them house bundle. Why if they said more because I so did not in that. I so did not say that. <laughs> my, my did hear Enram, my ear her. No, I forgot to put a brand mask in here. Because I've never seen so much mask in one again. No. <laughs> May I tell you? Yes, sir. And once you do that little folding action and get the stuff then. You know, get it sort of incorporated. Wait, the tomato can go in yet, B. Yeah. So now, you're going to get your. You're going to get your. I'm going to put in some of the scallion. I'm going to normally put in the, the scallion heads. You know, the white part of the scallion. Yeah, I'm putting that part there first and leave back the, the, black, the green part for. Jando, I'm gonna post some garden um, vlog in, in a couple days. You mean our flower garden or our food garden? Because both of them things are gone. We did some planting this week. Well, hope we did some planting this week. <laughs> well, run out. <laughs> well, our friend did some planting this week. What we planted? We planted um, mango. Mm -hmm. We planted some pineapple. Yeah. We plant. These same pineapples, guys, they will be represented because we did um, go ahead and plant. Them now seeds here, the wrong place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so now we put in the coconut milk and we just have to make this do its thing, make it steady and do its thing, right? I have some garlic powder and they want to cook this down, hence the name run down. You put the coconut milk in and you just want it to reduce garlic powder I have a little bit of paprika the color hey guys go ahead and give a thumbs up for stepping out of the box and making our own version of rundown just hit that thumbs up button please we have some whole bay whole bay and I, I'm not gonna put the larries I'm gonna leave the larries no, I can put them in too. Yeah, I'm gonna turn down the fire because it's a bubble. I have a little rosemary, and this is the only um, rosemary that I can use. Only when I'm cooking, I can use rosemary. rosemary. She don't want to hear rosemary name called otherwise. No. <laughs> I may have a cup of pimento. Just put a cup of pimento in it. Our allspice berries. And that is that right there. That is that right there. You just make this stay and do its thing and reduce nicely to a nice custardy type of gravy. And you have your mackerel run down. 
all right when it come down to the crumb me have to just um put the little the little pepper the little um tomato them in there and yeah so the thing said some people add curry to this you know for the color some people don't like the color white but i don't mind it you know and so that is my rundown and you just cover your pot and make your pot do its thing i tell you yeah lady bella naturally good morning to you you tried rundown once a few years back my mother never cooked it for us as kids it, it's considered like a fancy type of food okay so so good morning to you mrs chance good morning to you um so rundown is not really a fancy food as much as though it's a deep traditional jamaican food okay and of course the the the, the traditional rundown is made with the pickled mackerel or salted mackerel all right so um we are making it with the canned mackerel and so we are taking it out the box a little bit but if you are jamaican and, and your grandmother you know your family and all these people never make rundown for you you're missing out because rundown is part of the jamaican culture rundown is coming from slavery all right when when slaves used to get um canned foods because uh, not canned food sorry pickled foods let me tell you what used to happen so the slave owners had to feed their, 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 their stock. They had to feed them. So they would give them um, areas of the meat that is undesirable. You know, um, cow, 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 um, cow foot, ox tails, liver, kidneys. All those things were undesirables. Were, were, they call them awfuls. And pickled mackerel came in bulk. And they used to send those down to the slave house and, and feed the slaves. So what happened is coconut was readily available. And the slaves learned how to manipulate the coconut, squeeze out the juice, and, and boil that down. And by boiling it down, seasoning it up, put salt and pepper and stuff and season it up, it became like a custard. And that was what they had. A lot of times it did not have anything in it. It just had the custard boiled down. The Guyanese and, and, and Eastern Caribbean countries have a, have a dish called oil down, which involves yam, breadfruit, everything cooked down in a, in a coconut milk based um, um, stew. Pig steel used to be in, in oil down. Stew peas that we um, take from Jamaica, all of those are coming from slavery. And so um, mackerel rundown is something like that, you know, where we found the pickled mackerel and found the fact that that mackerel because it was pickled, saltfish, mackerel, anything that was pickled was mainly slave food. Mm. You see me? And because we found ingenu ingenious ways and, and, and creative ways to manipulate it. Oxtail, for instance. Mm. Oxtail wasn't, wasn't no big food right now. Oxtail was ghetto food. Was, was, they was, used to discard the tail? Of course. Are they never used to eat it. No. And now a delicacy. And now a delicacy. You can't can buy oxtail. Wow. You see me? So that's where that's where mackerel rundown came about and it became immediately and hit in Jamaica. And so I did a chicken rundown the other day. If you check oh my God. playlist, we did sick. chicken rundown and that was oh my God. Was so that was so good. You know? Mm-hmm. Good morning to you, Barrington Christian. Good morning, morning. Barrington good Christian. Morning. Um, I love bless. Prayer kid, you're gonna be yourself. You're going to be yourself. Iman, Iman, you know? Boy, yeah, intuitive observer. Good morning. Good morning, Lady Bella, naturally. That's yes, Mrs. my Charles. mother said oxtail was poor mm -hmm. people food. Can you imagine that? No, you can't. You buy it if you're not rich, to be honest. Mm -hmm. All right, so look at this now. Carry the camera. Let me show you now what, what is happening with our, with our, um, our, all right. So look at this. Look at the, 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 the mackerel. So what's happening now, as you see, it's sort of breaking. Mm -hmm. It's because the natural custards are being formed. Mm -hmm. You understand? So this is where you want your mackerel to go. So the coconut oil is coming on the top, and this was what they had. They didn't have anything else. So they used to make this custard down, you know, and they dip the yam and the dumpling and the rere in this, and that was food. 
So mm -hmm. if they had saltfish, saltfish would be added. If they had pig steel, pig steel would be added. If they had beans, beans would be added. Anything at all that they had at, at home, mm -hmm. they would have added it to it and it would have made the, the rundown. Wow. So the word rundown is, is actually coining the phrase, the, the, the coconut milk is coming down to a custard. And the thicker it gets, the more it gets that beautiful color. And the more it is nice. I used to think you only achieve this if you use the coconut from the shell, but apparently this is good quality. No, you, you can use the, the, it's just how you do it, you know? Mm -hmm. You give it the chance to do its thing. I'm just adding in my tomatoes now, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And you just want, me like my tomatoes, like on the crunchy side. You put so. time already, right? Yeah. Okay. You know, and then we just uh, look at Some that, guys. Beans. Look at that. You use these things already? Yeah. Okay. Look at that. And this is this is basically it. And guys, when you don't put ketchup in run down, don't do it. <laughs> so we just have to leave this, make it do its thing while you go and, and do your, your your hour, your minutes, your time. And you you me know say something them at over there, so my girl, you know, for sure. Have. Sure you make them because they look a nice dumpling, they just a show up over there. Oats flax dumplings, just saying. Guys, thanks, guys. When last have you detoxified your body? Me. I'm waiting for an answer. If you have done um, a detox in the last three months, put up your hand. If not, this is for you, guys. This Green Valley cleanser detox. First of all, it's a one-day detox. And it's you drink the nice. entire bottle. You, you drink the entire bottle. It's eight ounces of all greens, all natural herbs from God's green earth. Mm -hmm. And these are some other things that it will do. Once you get all of the the, the toxins from the body the and the waste and the cora 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 cora, you will um, it will boost your energy. Why am I reading the Spanish? <laughs> what the English words? Como se llama? I can't find the English. The English did it. I can't find it. The English is right there, babe. I can't find it. But, but it, it will pretty much... Um, I don't understand why I can't find it. The, okay, see it here. Sorry. Right at the top, you know? I couldn't find it. It boosts your energy. It improves um, poor diet. It removes body odor. It helps to alleviate constipation. It um, helps with, if, with pain in the chest and the stomach. Helps to cleanse your lungs, kidney, and liver. And it's also used to burn belly fat and more. And trust me, a lot of people who take it testify that after them take it, the scale actually went down a couple pounds. Legit. Literally. And everybody who order reorders because it's so effective. Once you take the bottle, preferably earlier in the day, and definitely on a day when you stay home, once you take it in about 15 to 30 minutes, you will be on your way to the bathroom because they're big room. And you will make multiple trips in the day until everything that don't belong in the stomach, oh, the cara, cara. everything that don't belong in the system will be removed right? right so yeah it has ingredients such as moringa it has dandelion root it has king of the forest sawasak leaf jack guinea and weed bush. jack in the bush leaf of life aloe vera tuna which is prickly pear garlic star of anise vervain if you haven't heard of vervain you can go research that but it's very important especially nowadays and cinnamon guys you want to take this you want to get your hands on one of this if you want to order it you can just send us a quick message mm -hmm, at 305-204-1270 all right and another product from the um the same brand that we have is their blood purifier mm-hmm same green valley cleanser blood purifier i was telling you to hold it further yes yeah, so that they can see it blood purifier 
And this helps with the following um, conditions. Mm -hmm. If you have acid reflux, mucus on the chest. Which is number one problem right now. Mm -hmm. Cholesterol, diabetes, heartburns, asthma, heart flashes, erectile dysfunctions, and blockage. <clears throat> and it helps to rebuild ligaments and cartilage. So yeah, and it has the same all natural, some of the same all natural ingredients. So the body will appreciate, you know, all and of this these is, this herbs. This is made by a Jamaican company in Fort Lauderdale. Very important, Jamaican company. No chemicals, 100% organic. As a matter of fact, the, the products, everything has been farmed by the same company that manufactures it. So it's not like they buy stuff. How do they taste? Them taste like you, you blend up herbs and drink in it. It doesn't have a horrible taste. But it never, it never overly pleasant taste. Yeah, it don't have a horrible, horrible taste. But, I mean, it's not really um, your typical glass of fruit punch. I can tell you that. But let me say, one go. For the blood purifier, it's more of a supplement. So you take that every morning, four ounces at a time. But things that are good for you, just bend your mind and take it. <laughs> Trust me, bend your mind and take it. Bend your mind yeah. and come. Said, bend your All right, mind. and from our own brand, One True Natural, mm -hmm, today, we, of course, we have a number of products in our products line, but today I want to feature Introduce. our Jamaican black castor oil. Why? Because it's black and you, it's Jamaican. You ask why, right? Why am I selecting our Jamaican black castor oil? Only because, number one, it's our, our top seller. Number two, it is one of the most effective oils that you can ever lay your hands on. I don't care which other oil exists anywhere I around the world. I don't care which other oil you ever tried before. If you have never tried, and let me say, the authentic, because that, that makes all the difference. It yeah. has to be authentic Jamaican black castor oil. Coming Don't be Jamaica. fooled by some of the labels that you see in the stores. Mm -hmm. Even though it says Jamaican black castor oil, take a look at the back. Take a look at the label, read the ingredients, and most of the times you will notice they have other ingredients listed. So it's not mm -hmm. really pure. Mm -hmm. But this, ladies and gentlemen, pure Jamaican black castor oil. We source it directly from the, the farmer. This is not factory made. Mm -hmm. So it has no other chemicals added, no preservatives, no additives, no salt, no hexin, none of those things. It is just amazing. And what I love about it is that, one, it can be incorporated in every single step of your hair care regimen. Two, it can be used by the entire family. So if you have a male, it can be used on his hair. If you have a female, if you have a child. And pan, pan and beard. Amazing. Yes. Pan the beard too. Yes. <laughs> All right, so. Let me know how to, how to put these things be. Tell me if I'm doing it right. Mm -hmm. What you think? You That's fix fine. them. That's fine. This is good. Oh. It look little slackish though. What do you mean slack? The shape. I don't understand. So, I can't be there now. I can't be there. Hold on. I can't be there. Don't put the... the so, yeah, yeah, guys. Uh, oh boy, I can't take it. All right, guys. So to order my um, our products from One True Natural, you just visit our website at www dot dot etsy dot com forward slash shop forward slash One True Natural. And with all these products, both the the detox products and the One True Natural products, they are all free shipping if you're in the U.S. That is. So be sure to help to support our businesses black owned businesses jamaican owned businesses all natural businesses yeah and that also helped to keep our little um channel running you know so work with us man just move the plate so i'm serious because man do something my business my different over here saying my girl 
<laughs> Lady Bella say that was cute. Didn't notice the shape of the food until she said something. I don't know what she over here. I do not know what she over here wants to see. Perkins said it improved looks too. Get fit and done. You need to buy a box. <laughs> The detox is very good. It works. Thanks. Get fit and done. Mm -hmm. Prayer kid sends me your location because that's it. <laughs> no, sir. Oh, la la. Oh, la la. Uh, uh, la la. It need more meat. You need more meat? Mm hmm. Just, you just want done the meat, my girl. The meat by itself. You just want done the meat, so. What do you mean? Oh, are you serious? How would that look now? It's good. It's not good. It tastes good. I'm going to put some cilantro on the top, like such. Yeah, put some cilantro on the top like such, and then I also have some organic cucumber. I'm just adding some cucumber to it. How this look, guys? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know if I like it. Jennifer M, thank you so much, Jennifer M. Jennifer M says it looks delicious. Mm -hmm. And guess what, guys? The, 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 the stuff in it is so healthy. The, the, the planting, the, um, the, 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 the sweet potatoes instead of regular potato, you know? So you limit the amount of carbs that you're actually taking in. The oatmeal dumpling, you know, oatmeal and flaxseed. And what else in the dumpling, babes? Cornmeal. Oatmeal, cornmeal, flaxseed in at the dumpling you know just and then because it is a canned mackerel the salt intake is way less you know so guys i tell you just make your plate look good in this big big independence eve mm -hmm. it is so for us to show them no sir mm -mm. no man <laughs> them can't hold the food <laughs> them cannot hold my food this morning mm -hmm. What did, mm -hmm. you, what did you make the other day again? We don't remember. We don't remember. We can't. No, sir. Wait, how oh, them I got all my food? How oh, them I got all my food? Hmm? I got no one more. How them I got all my food? This is nice. Nice. So this is how you can um, actually turn it and make passion. If you don't have the original ingredient, if you don't have salt, mackerel, in or some if you're areas, diabetic, you know, and you don't want the diabetic? extra salt. Yeah, if you don't want the extra salt, if you have if high you're blood hypertensive, pressure, yeah. Right, uh, right. Uh, Use something else. And this is my pineapple skin. Mm. My pineapple skin juice. With yeah, with um, with um, lemon and then salt. Again. Pineapple skin iced tea juice. A whole clove and mm. all these things. Yeah, guys, you have to turn it on and make fashion on this piece, you know. See you, Joshua, over there, sir. I eat. Oh, it tastes, Joshua. Yeah. Joshua, same like the sauce. Guys, look for me something. Look for me something. Look for me something. Look on this. Look on this, guys. Well, this is my baby. Let me clean up. Yeah, man. This looks good, you guys. Pickled mackerel sounds interesting. Is, this, is it sold ever, anywhere? No, Don't this is it? not pickled mackerel, as I said before. This, this is, is canned, canned mackerel. mackerel. Um, let me tell you where you can get this, Lady Bella. You see the Bravo where they're over near to you? You can get it at that Bravo. You can get either the pickle version or the canned one. And you buy the canned mackerel in brine that is in water and salt. All right? 
And some people, you can't even use sardines. The only thing is that sardines will break apart quicker because it's so it's fragile. Mm -hmm. You know, but yeah. So if you don't have the candy mackerel, this can work. Vera says, it looks nice. I love it. Um, oh, I can get some. I'm <laughs> in Jamaica. <laughs> May I FedEx it? Yes. <laughs> And on that note, you guys, uh, he broke something. A it's joke. not great, it's great. It cracked. It cracked. Yeah. It crack. But guys, this is our presentation for today for this independence, um, pre-independence. Remember to catch me on the radio this evening mm -hmm. for vitamin B at 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I'm going to write it down. Guys, a very interesting program. You would not believe the wealth of knowledge and information that he spits and great don't music. Speak, don't speak on <laughs> great music, great information, some comedy mixed into it, and it's just a nice vibe. You have to go check it out. And guys, today is it may I play, may I play a peer festival song because they might try to tell me so I never did remember fest, um, Emancipation Sunday gone. Mm -hmm. So a peer festival song. All right. Today, the, the vitamin that I'm showing you is Lipsomal Vitamin C. Liposomal. All right? Liposomal. So guys, remember your vitamin C is important, especially for those persons who are um, living in places where rain fall um, a lot. Rainy season start, vitamin C, all right? And vitamin C has, this one has rose hip extracts and citrus bioflavonoids, all right? Very important, the, li the liposomal, it enhances the absorption of the vitamin C, all right? So if you, even if you don't have the liposomal, make sure you get vitamin C, it's important. So that's my herb for today, yeah? Every week, I show on a different herb when I take. Last week, the last Tuesday, I did the ubiquinol, which is CoQ10 for heart and energy. Very important, guys. CoQ10 or ubiquinol. Make sure you take them herbs there. All right? And the one day detox, call me, text wow. me. On a need for wash out on a belly with the caracara. And then we'll have a pill on her, take over 14 days and all these things. Mm -hmm. It's not necessary and I drink this ton of water. This is immediate. All right? This happens like so, like so. 305-204-1270. So make sure on a contact us ASAP. And we will make sure ship it to you. Free shipping in the US. Back to our mackerel rundown. Happy Independence. And make sure you enjoy the breakfast. Remember, live and laugh. Cook and eat. After all, Remember. big up on yourself, family. Catch us on Tuesday morning, evening. Yeah, at for dinner live. 6 p.m. for dinner live. And, right. and keep the notification bell rung because we'll post up the, the yard vlogs, the gardening vlogs are going to go up tomorrow um, the, to see the, the progress. And we're in the process of fixing up more of the garden. So keep the, the notification bells rung. Lady Bella, when you and your husband are come up, we need enough to come up, come, 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 spend some time, come have dinner. Yeah, that's how the thing set. You don't know it go. After all. Oh, peace. Spit. That's a young people's slang. <laughs> all right, guys. Have a wonderful evening, Thursday, and weekend. Bye.